Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S4 Reboot.com. Last week we saw CM11, Sandu Gen Mod 11 with the latest Android 4.4.4. I know some of you are having trouble um, with certain things like OpenVPN. I don't use OpenVPN, but um, I believe the latest Nightlies will fix those issues. And some of you are having trouble with Sprint Galaxy S4. Uh, well, just to make sure, this ROM works well on Sprint, so I've installed it um, also on my Sprint. And my Sprint service works just fine, uh, flawless. I just don't get great LTE signals in my office here. Uh, but for this week's ROM, we check out Modi ROM. Um, I've actually been playing with this one on my Nexus 5. Uh, it is really, really an excellent ROM. Uh, it's actually a new ROM on the market, uh, Modi ROM. Uh, excellent developers. Um, it is super fast, uh, much faster than CM11 in my opinion and also based on benchmarking, which I'll prove it to you uh, a little bit later here. Uh, Modi ROM, you'll get the latest Android 4.4.4. Um, unlike Sinogen Mod Nightlies, um, those are nightly, these are actually stable versions. Um, so everything should be working out of the box. If you're having trouble with CM11, definitely check this one out for this week's ROM of the week. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the cool stuff. This ROM also does come with a ton of customization. Uh, one of my favorite things is the home button here. You can go ahead and switch it to Google Nano Launcher. My favorite is actually the Nova Launcher um, since you can change the grid size, the icon size, all that good stuff. So definitely go with Nova Launcher. Um, let me go ahead and show you some of the customization you can do with this ROM. Uh, if you go to themes, um, just like CM11, you'll be able to make everything dark. Uh, actually, that's on this ROM. And also you'll be able to get a bunch of themes through theme packs. Um, good stuff there. Customization menu. This is where you'll find all of your uh, favorite customizations. Uh, let me go ahead and go through some of them. Um, some of my favorites here. Um, it does have pie navigation. Uh, this is great. If you want pie uh, controls, that's great. And also immersive mode. Uh, what you can do is basically turn immersive mode. Um, then you get a bigger screen. So when you're browsing the web and stuff, you can turn it on and then you can use your Pi controls um, to uh, control it. Uh, let me go ahead and turn that back off. Oh, also, it does have the latest on-the-go mode. So if you live in New York City, um, you're commuting to work, um, you can still use your phone while uh, clear, uh, just focusing on your phone only. So very nice stuff. I like this on-the-go stuff. It's fun. Uh, also, you do get screen recording, screenshot, all that good stuff. And let me go ahead and show you some other stuff that I really like. Uh, lock screen notifications, um, you'll be able to find under lock screen. Uh, this is my favorite. Uh, actually, Google has just released the Android 5.0 Android L preview. They've actually added this into the new version. I swear they copied off the ROM developers, which is a good thing. Um, also, you can get a bunch of shortcuts, um, You know, up to eight, you can set that. Uh, somewhere here, eight slider targets. Oh, also another thing I really like is um, shake events. You can go ahead and set your shakes. Um, so you can shake it horizontally, vertically, uh, or backwards, all that good stuff. I have, I have it set to my torch, but you can actually launch any app, um, your camera, whatever you want to do. Now what you can do, uh, you will have to actually go to your quick settings here and add add those options, go to tiles and layouts. And I've actually added the on the go mode, immersive mode and shake events. You can go ahead and hit add and add those there. And what you can do is turn on your shake events. All right, turn it on. Now when I shake it sideways, sideways. Ah. Oh, sorry. Some of the other ROMs I've been trying, it's actually all over the uh, ROM, but this one has two shake events. So one in the lock screen. Um, so the shake events is only working uh, this one only in your lock screen. Um, so when I'm in my lock screen, I can go ahead and shake my phone, turn on my torch, shake it again, turn it off. I think this is a very good idea. Now you can do this all over the system also if you may use the shake events in the main customization menu. Uh, let me go ahead and add this torch again. And there we go. Let me make sure uh, shake is, events is on. And now I can do it uh, anywhere on the phone. Um, so you can also turn it off if you don't need it. Uh, so very nice stuff there. Um, also, the Android L Preview keyboard is out. Um, I have inst installation directions. Go to highonandroid.com. That's the first thing you'll find there. 
and I have it running on my Galaxy S4 and all my phones. I really love this uh, keyboard. Um, definitely check this out. I also have a link to it uh, in my on my website. Uh, other than that, you also get um, nice floating mode. Uh, let's say, let's say, um, for example, let's say you're playing a game and you want to message your, uh, you know, friend or something. Um, you can put it into floating mode, um, so it will not exit out of the current app you're on. Um, so another good stuff there. But overall, the performance, uh, which is what I was impressed with this ROM, not the customizations, uh, which can be found in uh, many other ROMs. Um, let me go ahead and show you a performance test. And I really love this ROM because it is fast. I've actually got Android 4.4.4 running here on my other S4 with uh, Google Play Edition. Um, so let's actually do a quick and tutu test and see which one is faster. So I'll start them at the same time. And ready, set, oh, ah. There we go. Ready, set, go. There we go. And I was really surprised to find that uh, Modi ROM actually beat out Google Play Edition, uh, which is, you know, pretty fast before, but now, you know, Modi ROM is pretty fast. I really like it. Um, running on my Nexus uh, 5. Again, this is a new ROM on the market. Um, so definitely, I highly suggest you to try it out. It is available for all of the Qualcomm-based Galaxy S4, meaning you can install on AT&T T-Mobile Sprint of Verizon GTI 9505. Um, if you have the GTI, uh, the Canadian Galaxy S4. So any Qualcomm-based, um, except for GTI 9500, which is Exynos-based. So I'll fast forward this, and let me change the camera angle, um, and uh, you know, We'll do that. There we go. Um, benchmarks aren't everything, but I just proved you too that uh, the Modi ROM is actually faster than Google Play Edition ROM. So definitely um, a good ROM to check out. Uh, but I really like it. You know, aside from benchmarks, you, I can kind of tell. I mean, I can. <laughs> Definitely tell this is much faster. And if you're looking for a good uh, AOSP ROM that's stable, you don't have to update with nightly, definitely check out Modi ROM for this week's ROM of the week uh, and do let me know what you think. But I think you'll like it. And you can see I'm getting actually some LT signals, which is nearly impossible where I work in my downstairs office. Um, but I really like this ROM. It's very good ROM. Also, you, it does have a kernel tweaker. Um, this will show you all the states it's in. Uh, let's go to CPU parameters here. Um, I don't think you need any overclocking unless you know you want extra extra uh, speed for playing games. I may have a combo um, next week. Uh, I'm going to be playing with a bunch of kernels. Now, Android 4.4.4 is so new, there's not too many kernels out right now. Um, but looking very good. And also, uh, battery life should be excellent on this ROM. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And do let me know what you think, but uh, I think you will like it. Um, that's it. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S4, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxyS4root.com. And uh, yeah, hit that like button and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And have a great weekend. And stay hot.